Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gian aka Beauty Outspoken and today I have a very exciting video for you and I always say that I have a very exciting video for you but I really do enjoy some of the videos that I put out because I know it's something that I would personally want to see. If you're new here I would love for you to stick around and join my YouTube family and if you're accustomed being here welcome back and I know that I haven't been consistent with my uploads but I'm really trying to change that and start to bring videos more consistently like when I first began in June but anyway let me though keep you guys too long with the intro today we're gonna to be doing a video that is mostly about brands that either you have never heard of before or if you search them you probably get like two or three video search results coming out or brands that you loved like eight nine years ago when makeup was now starting to become a trend and since then you haven't heard about them either due to the fact that I mean YouTube is a numbers game now and a lot of companies are using YouTube influencers to push their products and therefore if your company is not paying a YouTube influencer sometimes your product just doesn't get out there people forget about you if you're not really trying to bring new things to the market and a lot of brands I'm gonna be talking about here actually have been doing some new stuff but because they're not sending it to the right people or their marketing skills is just not that great as some of the other brands we know about they really have kind of fallen to the wayside and if you're a consumer like me that loves reviews and I mean you don't want to search too hard for products you would probably forget about these brands and be a little scared to try them because you don't want to waste your money because you haven't heard anybody talking about them so they must not be good right well I'm here to kind of debunk that today and um, if you have a brand that you think is worthy of being here that I didn't mention I would love for you to put that in the comment section I mean it would help me of course to find new awesome products but also it would be helpful for people that are watching the video who are checking the comment section maybe you can put the brand of the stuff that you like and also probably the items that you love from that specific brand and I hope that we can get a really nice dialogue going and um, stick around because the video starts now <laughs> So first I'm going to be talking about a brand that you're going to kind of roll your eyes like everybody talks about them. What are you talking about? You're crazy. But the brand I'm talking about or the brand in question is that of Zoeva. Um, I know a lot of gurus talk about their brushes, but a lot of people are not talking about their makeup and they do have a very extensive collection of makeup. They have some eyeshadow palettes. They have, um, I think, liquid liners. They have lipsticks, lip liners, eye liners, stuff like that. But what got me into them and what kind of made me want to try out something was actually the eyeshadow palettes. And I bought the um, the four free year one that they had for like 76 US dollars or something like that. But it's four different palettes that um, are supposed to be like a storybook. So they tell you different things. So the first one is Love is a Story. And it's just a um, colors with like some purples and some pinks in there. It's really nice. The second palette is that of the Rodeo Bell. I'm just like quickly showing you guys what the palettes look like. So yeah, I found these to be a really nice formula. For the price of getting four of these for $76, that's pretty affordable in my head. Um, it's creamy, the colors are very pigmented. Um, on certain shadows, especially some of the matte ones, there is a bit of a kickoff, but it's not too bad or anything that I haven't experienced with my MAC or anything like that. But yeah, for me, the quality is there. So if it's an awesome brand, I love their brushes. They really take care in producing quality products. I do have a liquid liner from them. I think it's the cat eye one that I forgot to bring here to talk about. It's a pen eyeliner, of course. That's just a really nice dark black that I am in love with. Because you know, sometimes you um, have a pen eyeliner and they say jet black, but it's not really jet black. This is definitely that jet black eyeliner that you're gonna love and it has a really nice fine tip I put it up there with my Kat Von D and the other brand I'm gonna be talking about is one that kind of hit the market and some youtubers were talking about them and you were kind of getting into it and then they just kind of disappeared um, the trend of using and swatching and reviewing them has kind of died out but these are the makeup addiction palettes and the palettes that I have are the flaming love palette I'm just gonna of course quickly show you guys it has a mirror in this one so I do want to blind you but I think I showed this in a haul video and the other one is one of the new ones which is the meadow palette and the meadow palette looks like this 
So these shadows for me are really, really good for the price. I mean, you saw the size of the eyeshadow. It's similar to the size of a Makeup Forever eyeshadow. And I think that these indie brands are really coming out with some awesome shadows. Now, don't get me wrong, the mattes aren't the mattes are a little bit powdery and you're gonna get a lot of kick off but it's not anything different that you, that you would get from a Morphe palette. It's a little bit higher quality than a Morphe palette by the way but it's not anything that you wouldn't get from a Morphe palette. I find that my Kat Von D kicks off a lot of shadows too so it's not really about the price I guess it's just the formula of the mattes but I think that the colors are very pigmented and you're gonna hear me saying that about most of the shadows that I'm gonna be mentioning today but it's very pigmented. The shimmers and the um, satin colors are very smooth the mattes are dark you know sometimes you see a very dark brown in the pan and then when you put it on your eyes especially being a woman of color um, it's just looking like what the heck it's it's looking lighter than your skin tone and it was looking really dark in the pan I don't get these with this they, they are true to pan color and um, for the price I think they're really good my only qualm with them is because they're shipping from the UK um, the customs I have to pay customs I think to get them to the States but otherwise it they have sales so you can definitely get like a 20% off or 15% off if you check pages like do that I think I got like a 15% from using a dupe that code and you can just kind of find ways to minimize the cost of these palettes indie brands always have sale the first one is I think this one is JD glow JD glow is a brand that has a lot of eyeshadows and I think they have highlighters I don't know if they do anything else yet but I purchased about one two three four why can't I count right now I purchased about eight of their eyeshadows now ignore the oh ignore the three of these here we just cover them but I purchased these shadows right here and um they are the i think this one is the regular metallion collection and then they have one that is a galaxy collection and the galaxy collection is very pigmented and thick i'm probably just going to go ahead and swatch one for you guys for you to see but this is the color plum and it's on like a purple my only qualm with this is that there is a bit of a kick off i don't know if you're going to be able to see that there's a bit of a kick off that's my only problem with this shadow but in terms of the pigmentation, it gives you a sort of a foiled look. I, I, I like it. I like them on the eyes. They look really good as lid shades. And I think they were $7.50 each. But again, indie brands always have sales, so you can definitely get it cheaper. I also got a highlighter. And I think they call this the Egyptian highlighter. I think this was formerly named the Gabrielle Union highlighter or something but it's a very yellow gold that I think looks beautiful on darker skin it let me just do a quick swatch for you guys um, it's one that a lot of brands use it's like a kind of 24 karat gold you can see that there it's like a 24 karat gold sort of shade that looks very banging on very deep skin if you are medium I would stay away from this because it's just so yellow that I think only if you have deep a deep skin tone like me and a little bit deeper a lot deeper could would look awesome with this you're just gonna get that rich pigment otherwise it's just gonna look like a yellow stripe on your face the other brand which is the ones that I kind of block for you and that oh my god ignore these but it's these three right here these are highlighters from the brand Luxy Beauty and a lot of people were talking about the fact that the Luxy Beauty um, highlighters were dupes for the Pat McGrath highlighters. I know that was a big thing on YouTube. Overall, these are beautiful highlighters. I prefer the consistency of the Luxy Beauty to the JD Glow in terms of just quality. It really does feel like maybe... I wouldn't say it feels like my Becca highlighters, but it feels like my MAC mineralized skin finishes, especially the older ones like Gold Deposit. It does have that finish, but at the same time, it's a little bit more creamy. Ah, uh, maybe Makeup Geek foiled. It has that sort of oily, not oily, but a very creamy consistency that when you put it on your face, it's gonna give you that wet highlight look that I know a lot of people are into right now. And since we're on the topic of face products, one last of anybody or have any of you guys heard of La Femme? Now La Femme was the in thing and I have a palette full of their blushes right now. But La Femme was the thing like in 2006, 
books or something. It was really far back, like 2006, 2007, La Femme was a thing. And everybody was buying their blushes because it was 250 each. And that was like unheard of in the industry at that time. Because usually the only brands that were offering blushes were like MAC. And I think NAS popped up then, by then and bl blushes were considered expensive. So when La Femme came on the market, people kind of rushed to them. And you can search La Femme. And if you search La Femme now, you're gonna find videos from 2008 back probably 2012 being the latest that you'll find a video on the brand but these blushes are still good and I don't understand why people aren't talking about them anymore now I have since discovered other blushes and love them from my collection and I do love my MAC blushes more than these just because it's a little bit less fallout but for the price these things are crazy pigmented they have since raised these from 250 to I think 350 you can get these on camera ready cosmetics.com and I have like two Ben Nye ones in the midst in the midst of these right here and I honestly think that they're just about the same I don't even know if the same brand makes them I don't think so but yeah they feel the exact same the Ben Nye is I think seven dollars or eight dollars so it's a lot more expensive than Le Femme I would definitely just tell you get the Le Femme but I really want to try the Ben Nye because I love that brand and that's the next brand that we're going to be talking about has has anyone even in the um in the regular consumer beauty world even heard of Ben Nye now I know that their blushes and stuff are not stuff that people use because it's more of a theater brand and they kind of keep that professional behind the scenes sort of image going they don't do a lot of marketing to consumers which I think is sad but they are sold on camera ready cosmetics.com and they have some really good stuff now I got their corrector this is called the Mojave adjuster it's in the shade brick this is the perfect color corrector for someone of my skin tone for reference I am about a NW47 and NC55 in MAC and I think that this is an awesome corrector it's not too orange but it's not too pale peach it's it's perfect honestly but they have the best ever setting spray for oily skin I think it's the Ben Nye final seal the final seal it's the most it, it will keep your face matte I mean I know people talk about the Urban Decay all nighter incomparable I know people talk about the Scandinavia which I do love but in terms of keeping me mad for a long time they kind of compare to the Ben Nye final seal one of the brands that we used to love but we're not hearing much about anymore is sleek in my opinion they were a lot huger back then and of course with the um, UK beauty gurus versus the American beauty gurus and I really don't understand why sleek doesn't try to get into some American stores their, their quality is amazing they could do something like what makeup revolution has done to get into Ulta and I think they will definitely be a contender and they would definitely get more people to know about their brand I'm giving you marketing advice sleek please take it but they're blush by threes I mean their blushes is what really started off a big hype they have amazing blushes their eyeshadows no it breaks off but the eyeshadows the um, matte shadows I have another one the neutral matte shadows it, it's it's a beautiful they make a beautiful eyeshadow formula one of my favorites from the drugstore if not my favorite from the drugstore in terms of affordability um, they have something they have bronze blocks these are some of the newer products they have something called a bronze block the have they have a new brow pencil that looks exactly like the Anastasia brow definer they have the best contour kits that you can ever get for dark skin it's a contour and a highlight they have light medium and dark I am um, I can either be dark I use dark on my entire face and then I use medium on my nose we're gonna go into Iman like when last has anybody spoken about Iman products um, they are in Walgreens drugstores as far as I know and we have them locally in Trinidad but I haven't seen them in a lot of places but I mean her lip pencils these aren't bad the only thing about Iman is her stuff is kind of pricey for the drugstore so I definitely would recommend to you her complexion products um, I have a BB cream here and a powder that I have in my purse that I was too lazy to take out um, I would definitely 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 recommend her sheer finish bronzing powder in afterglow if you if you are a dark skin chocolate beauty this thing as a blush is just I remember I bought this about like six years ago and I absolutely fell in love with it it's beautiful it's it's really 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 beautiful I love it and I mean her lipsticks her lipsticks feel like 
I would say they feel like the by beauty and mousse bouche but they're a little bit more slippery so they're creamy but they're creamy to the point where it's like wow it feels like luxury Iman is I mean I want to just talk about one color that I think that every dark skin girl should have it's a color called taboo and it's a very dark purple color it's very special might I add by the way just gonna give you guys a close-up on that it's a very 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 special color and dark skin in my opinion and every dark skin girl should have this color in their collection and why isn't anybody talking about coastal sense anymore I mean coastal sense is one of those brands that I think everybody had because they had those really affordable 120 palettes but they were kind of competing with BH and BH has since kind of gone into drugstores they've collaborated with youtubers and they've really gotten away from the typical um, 120 palette looking for bats and started to do their own original looking palettes so like recently maybe about three years ago their revealed palettes was like a YouTube trend because they looked like the Urban Decay naked palettes and then you just never heard anybody talking about them anymore you didn't see anybody using them in tutorials but I think this is still available on the site but it's so just a really pretty color this one is the one that's supposed to be a dupe for the naked three but it goes beyond that they have a lot more shades they have a little bit more darker pinks I prefer this to the naked three by the way because there's a lot more darker shades that are more pigmented that suit my skin tone a whole lot more to be a dupe for the naked three but it goes beyond that they have a lot more shades they have a little bit more darker pinks i prefer this to the naked three by the way because there's a lot more darker shades that are more pigmented that suit my skin tone a whole lot more than the naked three palette and they're hot pots now if you have used any sort of morphe individual eyeshadows i think that these rival mac individual eyeshadows because uh what to say i mean at the end of the day a mac individual eyeshadow used to be about 14 dollars and these um it's now six i think so it's not as expensive but in terms of just quality i think that these aren't half bad especially considering that on sale times you can get these for 99 cents and i think in regular it's like 199 but i have so many of their hot pots now this is a double-sided z palette by the way so i just filled up each side Ugh. I just filled up each side with shadows like yeah I really just filled up each side with shadows and I have like a neutral side a green and blue side um, another neutral side and this is my more peachy ugh, this is my more peachy corally tones and I think I have like about a hundred of these but I think that the quality is there it reminds me of the Morphe individual eyeshadows that I think I paid like four dollars each for I think they're the exact same the BH individuals that they discontinued exact same if you want to get into individual eyeshadows and you don't really have the money to spend on Mac or Makeup Geek Coastal Scent Hot Pot is a really good place to start in my opinion you get a lot of bang for your buck and this is a brand that I feel like if I kind of I wouldn't say I outgrew but because other brands kind of came on the market I forgot how amazing they were and recently I was using the eyeshadows from Inglot and I fell back in love with them I remember why I love them in the first place this is the freedom system individual eyeshadows that you kind of put in there I think back then these were like seven dollars and Inglot was a big deal back then because at that time it was only Mac doing individual eyeshadows and the Mac shadows were again $14 like I mentioned before and these were like seven they're nine now I think but they were like seven dollars so everybody was kind of clinging to Inglot because of that price affordability but now since Mac is cheaper than Inglot people are kind of not buying the Inglot as much and this is another set these eyeshadows are more pigmented than Mac by far higher quality by far you get more product I think um, I like the concept of the freedom system um, they have a new collection I would call the spice collection that I am really marking right now now everybody's heard about the Inglot Duraline if you have any sort of eyebrow pomade or gel eyeliner that is drying up Inglot Duraline is gonna get that really nice and creamy again for you um, I recently used the lip crayons and one of the lip crayons is what I have on now the shade that I have on is 34 it's a shade 34 and they're numbers and these I really think I prefer to my NARS matte lip colors and even my elf because they're a lot more matte versus creamy matte and 
they also have this new brow shaping pencil now if you have fairly full brows and you just want like something to swipe on your brows I know Maybelline has created a really chubby pencil I know Mac has created a really chubby pencil it's like a trend now you just kind of take this this is the size of it and you just take this and you just kind of swipe your brows I love these type of pencils because sometimes when I'm feeling lazy or when I just got my brows done and they're looking bomb I just need to fill in that little patch I have there and I'm good so I don't really want to do the whole fine brow pencil concealer trick thing that I, it just takes up too much time so I think we're delving into brands that you probably never really care to pick up because they are more like the beauty supply store brands so the first brand I'm going to be talking about is Nika K and I don't have a lot of products from this brand because I know she has some really nice um, liquid lipsticks that I swatched in the store. She has a full collection so brow pencils, liquid lipsticks, um, eye pencils, brow mascaras, um, brow pencils, did I say that already? I can't remember, eyeshadows brush cleaner I think a lot of stuff but I purchased the um, duos this is the blush duos I wanted to mention this one because I think I found a dupe because it looks exactly doesn't feel the same but it has a bare resemblance to my NAS panic blush duo which I absolutely love this is the dual intensity blushes let me just show you close up so you can see them next to each other but yeah I think that they look very similar of course it's two different types of quality but the NAS one is like 40 the NAS one is $40 if not $40 $45 or some crazy price and this was like $3 so uh, yeah but yeah and the contour and I remember this is a contour duo and this one is in 09 and I wanted to mention this I'm gonna give you a close-up on it I wanted to mention this because again I told you that I'm NW48 slash NC55 and these two shades contour me which I think is a big deal and the darker one contours my mom she's NW55 Ruby Kisses I remember a couple years ago I really loved their I think it was the 3D face creators that had like the two different cream shades and you could use them as foundation highlight contours at that time I didn't know anything about highlighting and contouring so I kind of use them for my skin but I know that they have since kind of gone on to bring new things this is one of their brow powders I wanted to mention this because I love this they give you a uh, wax and two shades and I think that this goes on like any other high-end brow powder I have I don't think that you should spend a lot of money on brow powders because I mean once you set it with a brow mascara you're good to go nobody's gonna look at you and be like oh you have on Anastasia today it's really not that serious their concealer I wanted to mention this give this a little bit of a hype because this concealer is really good like this is an awesome under eye concealer it's called the pure mineral concealer high definition smart blend and this thing is amazing I have the shade in warm honey if anybody's interested in getting that shade I also wear like maybe a comparison would be Fauna Tuffy in LA girl this one just kind of melts into the skin which I think is a I mean who wouldn't love that and they have the contour stick duos um, I wanted to mention they're all over glow which a lot of people talked about as being a dupe for Max Gold Deposit. It's a little bit darker and a little bit warmer than Max Gold Deposit. This one is the shade in Bronze Glow that they said was the dupe. Really awesome, great texture. And they have this new thing called the 3D Contour Artist where they give you eight shades and they have light shades, they have a color corrector in there, they have contour shades, they have skin tone shades. This is the shade, this is the color or the the palette in medium dark and I love this palette it's perfect for anybody who is my shade or lighter um, I think if you're really dark like my mom she doesn't she can't use a lot of these shades so it's kind of like a waste for her but if you're my shade a little bit lighter I think you're gonna love this they have a corrector shade that I wanted to just mention quickly because I feel like it's such a great corrector you know sometimes you get an affordable corrector from brands especially cream correctors and they just kind of slide off the face this actually stays on I forgot to mention that they have oh it's six 
highlight cream shades and one is actually like a shimmery highlighter I don't know why I forgot to talk about that but this is really nice it reminds me sort of what cover effects was doing in their contour palettes another brand I want to talk to you guys about I think I want to do a separate review video because I have a lot of their products is absolute New York they are a sister brand of Nika K and what I loved about the display when I went in I think a local store wonderful world is that it the, the actual display looked like NYX like it looked like a more affordable NYX and they just have really amazing products I think like they did over their whole line because I don't remember them being this hype like they have matte liquid lipsticks they have eyeshadows they have pencils lip pencils brow pencils brow powders they have brow gels they have setting sprays cleaners they have a whole range of stuff I really would encourage you guys to go and check them out some standout products for me are their velvet lippies I think they really feel like the soft matte lip creams another standout for me was their radiant cover concealer I don't know if I've seen this locally but it is a um a steam concealer I use this for my under eye and I use the shade in tan again I use fawn and toffee in LA girl if you want a comparison and I really love that it looks really nice and smooth like again just as I said with I think it was the Ruby Kisses concealer I don't have to spend a lot of time blending these products and they just kind of just melt into the skin um, they have another thing I liked was their eyeshadows this one is the true elements no, it was the True Palettes Element in 073. Yeah, that's the name 073, and it's just a really nice palette with some jewel tones in there. Their lip pencils, these are called the Waterproof Gel Lip Liners. Now, I would say that they're between, for me, in terms of favorites, the MAC Lip Liners and the ColourPop Lip Liners. ColourPop is my ultimate favorite lip liner, but these are actually pretty good for the price. And this is a brand that I think that you would look at me like, oh yeah, People talk about them, so I don't think they should be in this video, but I do think that Sephora collection does not get the love that it deserves. A lot of people go into Sephora for the higher end brands and they just look at Sephora collection like, ugh, why is it so expensive? Is it drugstore? Is it high end? It, it's, it's just kind of in the middle, but I guess you can say that it's the drugstore of Sephora in terms of prices. But, and for me, some standouts I wanted to mention are the Bright Future gel concealers and their correctors i have the orange corrector here and i have another shade in the and then i have a shade in the concealer this one is shade 14 toffee i use that to highlight um they have this brow pencil that i want to just give like a quick minute of praise and glory to this is called the um, retractable brow pencil this was when I was like, oh, the Anastasia is a bit expensive, I kind of purchased this on a whim, and I think it beats the Anastasia for me. The only thing I would say that I don't know why Sephora doesn't just throw away is this stupid, um, I don't even know if you can see that, but that's supposed to be the brush, that's supposed to be the spoolie. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be, it's terrible. Of course, one that people talk about are their lip colors, and I think these are their cream lip stains. They have some, they have a really nice texture. It's not drying, but it's not like super matte. They last really nice on the lips, and the colors are pigmented and i mean just get them just try one i mean it's not gonna hurt you they have something called the color lip gloss and these were interesting to me because they go on like any other creamy satin lipstick and they kind of lock into your lips and <laughs> they just kind of <laughs> they literally lock into your lips and it's just like it turns into a matte lipstick almost similar to that of what a matte liquid lipstick could give you and they just set really nicely and last for a really long time of course not as long as their matte lip colors but in terms of just longevity of a regular lipstick i think they do that for you i really really wanted to mention their brushes their pro brushes um these brushes are not cheap they're some of the more expensive brushes that i have to be honest but the quality is there if you're looking for high-end brushes i really think that you should check them out if you live in the states lucky you can go into a Sephora but if you are in Trinidad and Tobago and looking to try I would definitely recommend their number 50 and it's a large powder brush it's really nice it just gives you like a nice sheer powder it's not very dense or anything like that this is their number 53 and they call this their pro full coverage brush and this is really nice I know elf has a dupe like this that I have that is not the same in my opinion the Sephora one is way better but I really like this product 
and the brush that I would tell you buy if you're looking for high-end spoolie if you're not looking for high-end spoolie I, I don't know I really love this brush um, if you are into eyebrow powders and you just really want a nice two-sided brush that you can dip into your pomades and just kind of blend at the same time I would definitely steer you in this direction this is the Sephora Pro Brow 20 and I know that Anastasia has the same dual-sided brush but this feels like way better quality and who the heck gets Goo Goo Gaga over a spoolie I mean it's a spoolie for Christ's sake but the quality is just there a lot of times I have more affordable spoolies and the top part where the brush kind of pops out so I just decided let me invest in something a little bit higher and I'm glad I, I did because this is really worth it. I think that's it for all the brands that I talked about. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing this video and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and join my family and see more videos of me because I'm really cute. Actually <laughs> I just want to see more of you guys I would love to get feedback again if there's a brand that I didn't talk about that you guys really love put it in the comment section talk about the kind of products that you like talk maybe about why you like it co-sign on some of the brands that I talked about reminisce on brands that I talked about that you forgot in your collection and you're gonna go back to find them let's have a really nice dialogue and I really hope that you enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're viewing this and I hope to see you again I said that already. Please subscribe. I said that already. Be sure to spoken out. Bye guys. <laughs>